Good morning. Good morning. I'm Mary. I'm Linda. Welcome to Pinky Mouse Sisters in the Kitchen. So uh, we are making syrup tea cakes today. This is something that oh, recipe. Yeah, that our mama and uh, grandmothers made yes, when we were yes. kids. So they are delicious. I got the mm -hmm. oven preheated to 350 and I'm going to go ahead and, and get my shortening in here. And I'm just using this because I had some. I know and it. I like that easier. shortening. Uh, this is a cup that I'm going to put in there. And are you going to, I'm going to, you, go, gonna you want the on. sugar? I'm going to start this okay, first right here. Just, just briefly. That's a cup, isn't it? Yeah. And this is a cup of imperial sugar. Do you put it in there slowly? Yeah, just so it don't it, fly everywhere. Because it, it does. <laughs> because it's fine sugar. It, yeah, you can see that because it's yeah. so fine. It, yeah. it comes up a little bit. And we are sponsored by Imperial Sugar. Yes. Just scrape down the sides just a second here. You don't have to beat this a long time, but you do want to you do want to get that graininess out of it. You know, my mixer I've, I've had a long time, and it's um. I'm thinking we'll have to buy me another Isn't pretty about soon. Yeah, out? yeah, it's getting old. <laughs> uh, it's grinding down on me sometimes. Okay, I'm, um, I'm going to go ahead and put my eggs in one at a time. don't want them to splatter everywhere. So this is four uh, large eggs. Just let me try to think. What I was baking the other day that I was using, oh yeah, it was that lemon pound cake. I made a uh, lemon pound cake for the church. And um, it takes a lot of eggs. Yep, it sure does. And that's whenever uh, I was thinking about my mixer. It was getting pretty bogged down there before I got food, got it all mixed. Okay, so. Uh, with that? Yes, I am. I'll, I'll keep that paper plate though to put my thing on. And I'm going to add some vanilla. I'm not even going to measure this, but um, probably want about two teaspoons. This is our good vanilla. I have a mason cup here. I mean, I, I know. I'm just, I'm just not going to do it. I'm just going to do it like that. Oops. Thank you, Mary. I'm getting. I'm had to open a new bottle the other day of flavor. <laughs> yep. You. Um, we go through a lot of vanilla flavor and yeah. a lot. I want to scrape my sides down so. Okay, you we're going to start. Flour? We're going to start adding our flour, and I'll turn this down just a pinch because I don't want flour to. And this is all-purpose flour. Yep, yeah, it's all-purpose flour. Do you have a guard? Not for this one. No, I don't. Okay. I usually put a dish towel over it. I have one for my big mixer. Yeah, I thought you did. You know the uh, the grass is so green I everywhere. Know. I'm just I hate for the sun to start killing it. I know it. Some some summers we had green grass the whole summer, mm -hmm. and some summers it's dead by June. Yeah, and we're getting close to July here, so I'm so so glad to be getting our yard cleaned up. Yeah, it's it, just it sure looks nice. It's just been a yeah. a long long process. Um. The last few years, Mike just hasn't been able to to do extra other than mowing, and 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 I say that, and he does pick up stuff all the time, but he's not able to do the heavy stuff yeah. that he did for years. And right. so I'm getting a little bit done here and a little bit done there. We got the forest cut down in the backyard yeah. this week. Looks nice. Okay, so that's three. That's three cups. Yeah. And just a little tip for y'all. Um, am I on mute or no? Okay. Just a little tip for y'all, and this is how I do it. 
I add half my flour and then I add my other. Um, so that's bacon soda. Bacon soda. This that's is one, one teaspoon. And then this is bacon powder, and that's two, right? Is yeah, that two? I put two. It two don't look like it, but that's two teaspoons. No, it don't look like teaspoon. Two teaspoons. I'm not doubting you, but I guess it is. <laughs> Sorry about that, Mary. <laughs> doubting Thomas here. And then my salt. And I'm putting two teaspoons two. of salt in here. And the reason I am is because this is a lot of flour. And if y'all ever eaten something that tasted blah and bland, that's because it either didn't have any salt in it or it didn't have enough. Yeah. Now this is number four. And the old timey recipes, Mary, I've got recipes that Mall Hand wrote and that I've seen uh, that Mama Hand wrote or Aunt Elsie. And it says, it'll say work work the flour in. It don't tell you the amount, right? Yeah. That was four, yeah. right? Yeah. So we got two more. So it might be that you might have to get, oh, I know why it's bogging down. I need to put some syrup in there. Wonder why it was getting so thick. This is molasses syrup. And that's a cup, right? Yes. And it might seem like a lot. I was wondering why that dough is so <laughs> stiff. That's because they didn't measure it. They just, yeah. they, they knew when the dough was right, when the consistency was right, and that's how they did it. Yeah. Okay, this is five. five. So it'll, if you ever see a recipe that says, just work the flour in and it doesn't have the amount. That's because they didn't need the amount. Mm -hmm. They just, they were that good of cooks that they just did it um, until they knew it looked right or felt right. Oops. I don't have a guard for this one. I guess that's what you asked me a while ago. I know, I was making that pound cake the other day. It was just, uh, I, I do have a guard for mine, and it, uh, it was still, I was still getting flour everywhere, and I said, well, I guess my, all my friends and on Facebook's right, I guess I'm just a messy cook. <laughs> Mike, um, I, some, something last night about, I said, you know, I'm making cookie dough tonight, don't you, because I had to make up a batch ahead of time. He said, yeah, I knew it because I mopped the floors today. <laughs> so I knew you'd be in the kitchen messing up. <laughs> sure is nice to have somebody to yeah. do them chores for you. I always know when he's mopped because I can smell it when I come in. I'm making a mess here. Okay, this is our That's last six. cup. This reminds me of Christmas because yeah. you usually make stuff with molasses at Christmas. Sure does smell good. It smells really good. Daddy loved molasses syrup. Yeah, he did. He sure did. We were biting in cans. Yep. It was a can, a big old round can about this big around, this tall. Ribbon cane syrup. Yeah. Can you eat it? Like just like With yeah. hot biscuits, yeah. Yeah. You, you, you eat that on bread. You want to taste it? It's a very strong taste. Yeah, yeah it is. Some it's people good. that have never had it might not like it, but it's really <laughs> good. <laughs> it's strong. Linda, Linda didn't Linda. care for it. <laughs> but you know what? When you put it with something, it weakens yeah. it down. Like if you put it over a biscuit or something. And a biscuit's kind of dry, so that that's why that it... Uh, okay, so y'all are going to see that this dough is really thick. I guess I'm going to leave this flour out. You might need it. Yeah, I might need the flour. Um, we're going to put some parchment down here. And, um, Mary, would you rinse this rag out? It's kind of sure gotten yucky. And uh, I'm done with the sugar too, Mary, and the vanilla. Okay. So um, this dough does need to be refrigerated. So thank you, Linda. So um, I just use a little bit of parchment. Thank you. 
you fit this spatula. Or no, you um, you may need the spatula for the. I need a paper towel. Sorry about that. Please. <laughs> I should have had some over here and I didn't. Thank you. All right, so um, we're going to turn this out here okay. on this paper. And this is going to go in a bag and go in the refrigerator. And this dough is uh, real, um, uh, it's stiff, but it's sticky. You would have to refrigerate it. Yeah, it needs to be refrigerated. So if you were going to bake these cookies one day, you could make it up the night before like I did. Yeah. And uh, just take it out. You can also make it up and put it in the freezer. Uh, just be sure to date it. And make sure that it's wrapped really good. That's the main thing with yeah, putting something in the freezer. It is. Is how it's wrapped. So um, you want to make sure you've got a good um, um, freezer wrap or freezer paper. I like the freeze type. That's what I use. So now I'm going to switch from the spatula to the bowl scraper because right. this just, thank you, Mary, this just works so much better. And I'm just going around the sides. And kind of loosening it and then I'm going to dump it off on this and you can see you can touch it it's not going to stick to you but it's a soft yeah it's it's thick but like Mary said it's soft so you need this to hip you out a little bit yeah <laughs> <laughs> okay now we're going to get the rest of this out here now if you're making smaller syrup tea cakes this is going to make a bunch we're going to make big ones, and I, I normally like stuff that's little, but I just remember Mama making big cookies when we were little. Yeah, and Aunt Elsie, her tea cakes would be big. big. Yes. And Aunt, La Aunt Faye does the same thing, makes big ones. And I just, and I, that's what I yeah, like. So yeah, you I can like it. put all that in one bowl and just in that bowl and put it over there on the side. So I'm just going to wrap this and turn it. And then I'm going to put this in a Ziploc storage bag, and it's going in the refrigerator. Okay. Let me put it in the bag for you. Um, yeah, you know where they're at, Mary? Over yeah. there? It, right on uh, the next one over. Yeah. No. Yeah, there. There's a big box in there. Okay. Through this. Now, you don't have to have... Um, I don't know if I'm going to use the pastry mat or not. We're not going to roll these cookies. You can roll them, and some people do roll um, tea cakes, but I'm not going to roll them. I'm going to scoop them out. But um, I do want to put this mat down because we may have to work a little bit of flour in these. I'm using the scales, too, because even though I'm, um, um, we're going to scoop them out, I still want to weigh a couple of them. So um, I need a little bit of flour. If you'll just put some okay. in a cup. I don't have Mary running around here and Linda too. Okay. Thank you, Mary. I'll let you get. Where'd my cup go? It's over there. Okay, that's okay. I'll, I'll wash it. No, I, I have a green it's cup for for this. But if it's if it's got the, molasses on it, I don't. The that, green. Yeah, the green cup that went that goes in here. But that's okay. I'll just use this. This is good. I don't know what I did with that green cup. Right oh, there it is, yeah. Okay, we'll just keep a little out here in case we need it. We may not even need it, but um, I just want to keep a little bit. Okay, now I need my... Um, scoops. My pans and the scoops. That's heavy, I'm sorry. Okay, so we're going to use this big scoop. This is. Um, these are from Sam's. And um, we're just going to lightly grease the cookie sheet. I feel like i got to sneeze. <laughs> this is probably too much. But if you want to use a seal patch, you can. But I'm not going to because um, I want them to cook directly on um, the cookie sheets. So we're just going to grease the, the cookie scoops just a little bit. Um, and... I don't know. We may not need to work any flour in this, Mary. Okay. Feels pretty good. Okay. Tell me what you think about it. Does that feel pretty good to yeah, you? Yeah, I, I okay. wouldn't put no flour in it. Okay, so 
We didn't need the mat, actually. Oh, okay. But that's okay. So that's I not... didn't know if we we were going to need to work some flour in it. I wanted it on so the you mat. So you're going to... Yeah, I'm just going to do this full, oh, and then I'm going to weigh them. I okay. think it's going to be about a four you ounce. Know, this is 3.81. Now, I'll show you the difference between one and another one. That one's going to be more. And the reason I know it is Cause is because... Because I packed it? Because you're... See, yours I is 4.09. I packed it. You don't yeah. want me to pack it? Um, I want them kind of to be the same size. Let me add just a little bit more to mine. Okay. Okay. 413, and that's 406. Okay, so they should be around four ounces. And I know this is picky, and y'all probably think, you know, I'm a little bit crazy about this, me doing it like this. So you don't miss this? Um, yeah, and you got to allow enough room on your cookie sheet because these are going to overlap if you don't. So you want me to go ahead and pack it like I did that one? We're going to do them? Yeah. That's, that's going to be a big cookie, Linda. It's going to be a big cookie. <laughs> I'm only going to put four on this cookie sheet. And that one's not quite four ounces. Now, for little kids, you don't want a cookie this big, obviously. It just makes a pretty cookie. And um, we might can get five on there if I put one in the middle. But I know they're going to get big. That one's not quite big yeah, enough. I love it didn't come out of the cookie scoop. <laughs> The thing about it is if you have different size cookies, you want to cook the same cook size different. on each pan because you don't want some to be done and some not to be done. So they need to be about the same size. Okay. So I'm going to I'm going to uh, take this and actually I didn't even need this mat here, but I'll just roll this up, put it aside. So what I like to do, Mary, and this okay. reminds me of Mama. That's good, but we're only going to put five on here. Okay, we're we just going to do one. Uh, no, um, we'll cook two sheets, but okay. I'm going to show y'all how okay. I do them because we want to get them in the oven. Now, these are going to take longer, probably than eight to ten minutes yeah. to cook because they're big yeah. cookies. Right. You remember how Mama had her thumb, her, yes. had her hand yes. print on them? Yes. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm just, just gently press them down. So they're, um, you know, it it just, I don't know, it's just something about it, yeah, but that's what I think. like to do. Yep. Mama, especially the peanut butter ones, Mama done this. Yes. So we're going to cook these. We're going to put them in there, and I'm going to set the timer for 12 minutes. I don't want to overbake them, but I have a feeling that these are going to take probably about 14 minutes to cook. Yeah. So I'm going to set the timer for... I'm going to set it for 12 minutes. That's what I'm going to set it for. Okay. All right. Are we going to go ahead and grease another pan? Yes, we are. We're going to go ahead and do another sheet. Now, I think these new mics pick up everything, so y'all probably hear every little bit of noise that we're doing. And y'all can certainly use your three tablespoon cookie sheet or whatever to do these. Whatever size you want. Yeah, it doesn't have to be now, these big ones. You got another sheet. Going what here. happened to that? It fell on the floor. And I okay, the trash. I'll get it. I'll get another one. It's stuck to my. Are you baking the cookies on the top rack? Yes, I am. I don't bake cookies on the bottom rack because they burn too easily, or they could burn too easily. And um, so you want to make them all this size, kind of. Even if they're not quite four in four pound uh, four ounces, I just want them pretty much to be the same size. That's still not four. Makes a difference. See, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. When you're using a scoop, it depends on how you... Yeah, that's too big. It depends <laughs> on how you pack your cook, cookie scoop, Yeah. Um, how does. big it is. And that's why I like to use the scales. That's fine. We'll, do a, we'll just do them right under four. 
That's the only one that keeps sticking. I know. Not going to get as many, but goodness, I don't know if I could eat a whole one of these. They're going to be so big. <laughs> Would you hand me my scoop, please? I sure will. Well, <laughs> it's one of these mornings. <laughs> Drop everything I pick up. I have those seem like quite often anymore. It's uh, we always talk about getting old, and we are very thankful that uh -huh. we are living. Yes. Every every morning I wake up, I thank God that I'm among the living. And um, but I see posts on Facebook about people forgetting things and yeah. and forgetting where they put stuff, and and that's just part of uh, that's part of aging. It's not evidently funny, it is. It's not funny. Now this is probably, this cookie is probably, you could probably make two or three cookies out of this cookie ball. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Here. These are big. And so we'll, we, we just might just do some little balls in our hand and make the next okay. um, pan a little bit smaller, Mary, to okay. just, right. um, okay, so. so they're not quite so big. You certainly don't want to waste this. It's, Something that always irritates Are me. Are you still wanting to weigh them? Yeah, I am going to weigh them. I want these to be about yeah. half that size, about two ounces. At a reunion, when there's a bunch of little kids around, you know, they'll, you need to have little cookies that are small for kids' hands. Because what do they do? They take one, uh, take a bite mm -hmm. of it and put it down, and then it gets thrown in the garbage. Boy, and it doesn't take much when you're not but a ounce off you yeah. sure can't put much <laughs> and i could have got some more cookie scoops out but i just didn't want to dirty something else to have to clean up mike thinks i can dirty more stuff in the kitchen than anybody he's ever seen <laughs> and i usually do well, because i, I like too. A, i like a certain thing for everything i do now you'll see since we're doing these with our hands that it sticks to your hands because of that molasses in it Now, if you make this cookie dough up and to and put it in your freezer, um, you need to write on. Um, I I usually take a little card and um, write on the card and wrap it in plastic and um, put it in the bag with the cookie dough, and that tells you um, how much to cook it. And uh, the date that you put it in there and what it is. Um, I've put cookie dough in the freezer a long time um, before I finally got smart and decided, you know, I didn't want to have to pull out a recipe book to find out what temperature yeah. to cook them on. Because cookies, well, you I cook the, them at different times. Yeah, I do the same thing about putting up meat. If I don't, if I forgot, forget to write on there what kind of meat it is and the date I put it in there, it's, um, you pull out the meat, you're thinking when you pack it up, I'll remember that. No. But you won't. No, you don't. So, um, just take a little card, like a little index card, and write the name of the cookie and the date that you put it in there and the temperature and the time to cook it. Wrap it in plastic wrap and slip that in your bag. And that uh, really saves you a lot of time. Yes. To, um, um. Did you get all the cookie dough out of your cookie? Yeah, well, no, I didn't, but <laughs> that's all right. <laughs> well, you get on yours. Yeah. Get it all out. I'll add it to this one. It's a little smaller. Okay. So, um, we got two pans of big ones and one pan of the small ones. These are probably going to run together, but, um, yeah, but that's okay yeah. if they do. They run together. We can yeah. pull them apart. So, um, we're going to... Um, just kind of move this a minute and then we can just sit down and talk okay. while these are cooking here. Let's clean this up a little bit. Some of these things I've put in the dishwater, but some of them I'm not because I don't want Here's flour. A little bit of flour. We've got extra. Okay. Thank you, Mary. You're welcome. How what? These scales, they just go off when it's, uh, you don't have to turn them off. To no, you turn things. them off. You turn them off. You just, just hit it again. Hit the power and it'll go off. Um, you have to kind of hold it down. 
just hold it down until it goes off. Yeah. Well, um, mine. Well, I guess I. I they it goes off, but I didn't. Does yours I don't go off automatically? Holding, I don't remember holding it down. I want to put this over there because I don't. Might. I don't want to pick Maybe it up. It will turn itself off. That's what I thought because I know I I don't hold mine down. I don't want to pick it up and somebody pick it up and flour go everywhere because yeah. it's got flour in it. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to let those cook. And um, these are the easiest mats to clean up. I love those mats. Yep, Anything me too. that I'm baking, uh, cookies or pie crust or, or um, any kind of pie dough, pastry dough, whatever. I made some um, scoodles the other day. Some toasted. <laughs> Did I say it right, wrong? <laughs> what was How it? How you say it? <laughs> Pastry. What do you say? Is it scoodle, scoodles? <laughs> scoodles. Scoodles. Yeah. I made some the other day, and I didn't they know were what you was good. Talking about. <laughs> uh, Linda, you, she posts a lot of her pictures and things that she cooks, and I hardly ever do that. Well, you should. I may start posting because I cook all the time. But I very seldom ever post what I'm cooking. But I might, I might start doing that. Sometimes I'll cook something and I'm so hungry I don't take a picture of it before yeah. we sit down to eat. I um, I I've been cooking. I, that, a week or so ago, I made two or three things in one day. I didn't take a picture of it. I should have, but I didn't. Mike but, fixed us um, the strawberry poppy seed salads like you get at Panera, except ours are. He fixes them about twice as big, and. I didn't have my regular poppy seed dressing, and I didn't have the stuff to make it with. So I used some little packets from uh, a salad from Chick-fil-A. Mm -hmm. That stuff, and you know I love spicy. Yeah. That stuff was so spicy. The dressing? I kept wondering. Really? Apple cider vinegar dressing. Okay. It goes on their on salad. The, on the Chick-fil-A salad. The market salad. Yeah. I kept wondering, what is that? that I um, keep tasting. <laughs> yeah. So I decided that I wasn't going to use that on my salads yeah. anymore. It yeah. was good, but it I wasn't what Panera I was used to. Dressing. I yeah. love the, the dressing I do too. Panera. I do, too. I do. So um, um, we are we're going to do our out and abouts on Thursday, and I think we may have done it on Friday. <laughs> we we but, get things confused we, sometimes. Well, we originally had planned to do it on Friday, mm -hmm. but then we decided that we would do it on Thursday. Now, if that changes, we'll tell y'all if the weather is bad or something and we can't get out, but we're we're going to do that. Yeah. Unless, but our out and about next week won't be on Thursday. No, because that's... Um, because I'm going to be doing the celebration for her on Saturday, and... Um, it, it, we're gonna do. We're gonna be videoing the. Uh, it won't be the whole day because it's like three or four hours. Because um, uh, celebrations from eleven to two, so we can't video the whole thing. But we're gonna do um, part two. Yeah, we're gonna do uh, two or three videos. So, um, so y'all can uh, join us in the in what yeah. Mary and her yeah. girls have yeah. planned. I couldn't do it without. Help without the girls and all. I, I, I don't want Linda helping because it's her, her part. I her to let me help her, and she won't let me do it. <laughs> no, we can. Uh, I've got help. I got help, so okay, we'll get it done. It won't be like you, and you know, I enjoy I enjoy planning things with you. Yeah, yeah I do. It's, it's hard. It's really hard for either one of us to surprise yeah. somebody, to surprise mm -hmm. each other with, because yeah. we're we're together we so know. much and we we're know. always doing stuff yeah. and. Mary's not a good liar. She never has been. <laughs> it's not that I lie. She doesn't <laughs> even dance around the truth good. <laughs> I, can, I don't know how. I, I just I just just expression playing. on her face that uh, something's up or not up. <laughs> back before the whenever it was going to be a surprise, I w Linda was going to do a video on YouTube. I mean on Facebook and tell all y'all about it, but I, I knew Linda gets a notification every time she gets uh, something, a paper mouse uh, video comes up. So we knew she'd get a notification, so when I got get here, I take her phone to the bathroom and I leave it in the bathroom while Linda goes on, on video. 
And uh, I didn't, uh, and then later on, after a while, she said, where's my phone? I said, you know what? Let me go see. I think it's in the bathroom. <laughs> Mary never picks up my phone, y'all. I, I knew something was had to be up. So then when she, whenever we couldn't do the celebration, Linda says, I knew something was up when you when you took my phone to the bathroom. I knew something was up. Of course, she didn't know. Ooh, that. these are big cookies, and they're not done. Yeah, I'm gonna put them on three more minutes. This reminds me so much of Mama and yeah. Aunt Elsie yeah. and Ma. These are gonna be huge cookies, y'all. Yeah, I knew they would be because they spread out. Anything about cooking, especially cookies, about cooking cookies. Um, they're going to be soft when they come out of the yes. oven. Don't let that fool you. If you if you cook cookies until they're hard, they're overcooked. You won't be able to. You'll break a tooth trying to eat them. You cannot and because they firm they up. They firm up. Yes. And when I take cookies um, out of the oven, Mary, you may do yours different. I don't immediately take them off the pan. I don't. If you do, you'll tear them up. If you do, they're going to tear up. Yeah. And if you ever see a cookie. It's got like a little indention on the top. That's where somebody took a cookie yeah. out too soon and the spatula yeah. hit it. I've yeah. done it many Me times. Too. Me too. I have this thing about not breaking cookies. I don't like my cookies to break. Yeah. Most of the time, I never have a broke one. Uh, but if you take maybe. one up too yeah. quick, it will fall yeah. apart. Yeah. So um, after they've set a few minutes, and I put them on a, on a trivet, and I'll let them set a few minutes. My utility room is where I usually uh, set cool. stuff to cool. Mm -hmm. um, I have a chest freezer, and um, if I ever get an upright, I'm going to miss that chest freezer because yes, that's where will. I put my yes, stuff in. But um, um, I'll put stuff in there to cool. So you want to let it cool a little while, not completely yeah. and yeah. then take it off and put it on a rack to finish cooling um, and I've got my spatula out there that I'm gonna take them up with and I got my big one out because the little ones are too little yeah you need a yeah. spatula bigger than the cookie bigger than the cookie mm -hmm. to uh, or at least at least pretty much right. the size of right. it because right. the side of it will break off and y'all watch me break the first one I take <laughs> off since I said I don't like broke cookies <laughs> but um, um, anyway um, we uh, um, we will be at um, my house Tuesday, right? Mm -hmm. And your house Wednesday, Wednesday. Mm -hmm. is the plan, right? Um, or if you're, um, if I'm overwhelmed and, and and behind on my preparation, we have a backup. We have a backup plan, but we but we but we will, will be, be cooking. cooking. Yes, Tuesday and Wednesday. Are y'all hot? No, I am I'm burning not. up. <laughs> I'm so I am not hot. hot. <laughs> I walked in this morning and I was freezing <laughs> and I was hot. Yeah. I... But uh, anytime you have the oven on and you're cooking and, and juning around, like Mama used to say, mm -hmm. you you get hot a lot quicker right. than you do. And we had a lot going on this morning anyway. So um, we, we had to get everything ready and then be ready for our phone call that we did with our right. interview and then ready to cook. Right. So... I'm look. I make to see them cook. I make just a taste of one of them. Okay, let's see what we think here. I think that looks like the edges are done, Mary. Okay. You want to come over here and just okay. touch the top of them okay. and see if you think I need to cook them just a little bit longer. They're soft. Maybe yeah. another minute? I think maybe another minute or two, yeah. We maybe. could have mashed them down we a don't little want flatter. It, we don't want it to be dough. But I wanted it to be, um, I wanted I want it, it to, to be soft. Yeah. To, to, um, you wanted them to be thick, didn't you? Yes. You didn't want them to be flat. I wanted to have a dome on yes. them. Yes, yeah. And ain't, ain't Faze tea cakes, oh my goodness, ain't Faze tea cakes. She makes them. They're yeah, about the size, she right? She does make them that big. She makes them that big. And right um, I used to wonder how she got them that big. 
I don't know if she measures hers or weighs hers or not. I don't know. But she, if she doesn't, she's so used to cooking them that she knows exactly how much to put. Yeah. And I kind of think she uses one of those Sam scoops. She thinks she does? She might. I don't know. I don't know. We need but to say hi to our aunts, too. We hadn't said hi to Aunt Laverne. Got, and we got four aunts. That's still Aunt Faye, living. Aunt Lucy, and Aunt Linda Joyce. Yes. So if any of y'all are watching, Aunt we Laverne. love y'all. Aunt, Aunt Laverne. Yeah. Um, and we love y'all so much. Yes. And um, so I think I need to put this over here. Okay. So when we get ready to... Um, you going to cook the big ones next or the little ones? A pan of little ones? I'll cook a pan of little ones. Okay. And I, do we need to... We was trying to keep these under an hour. I just didn't want to put them on the stove. What cause time I is know. it? Does the top of your stove get warm? See, the top no, of your stove don't get it does warm. not. Mine does. And remember when, um, of course, when you when you have a gas, and yours is not gas, Mine's but um, when you have a gas stove, uh, the pilot light will keep the top of it. Remember when Mama mm, used to keep yes, I do. rolls yes. uh, to rise, the dough that's to rise? How I get, that's how I let my rose rise, is on top of my stove. I turn the oven on 200, and it, and it gets... The heat comes up underneath these vents and okay they sure smell good mm -hmm. i don't i thought you were searching that pan <laughs> no i usually leave a a pot holder on a hot pan so mike don't come in here and touch it okay we're going to do these for 11 minutes because i don't want them to get too hot. Yeah. I mean, I don't want them to overcook because these are the smaller ones. Yeah. Did but, you put them on a cooling rack or, or, um, or, or just after you get? I'm going to set this pan over here. Okay. And I do have a rack in there that I'll get, but I'm going to set them here on the trivet first. And I didn't. I get. put I put my pan on a cooling Ouch. rack, and then another rack I put the cookies on when I take them off. Um, it just gives more, put, gets more air underneath the pan to cool it off a little bit faster. Well, we can do but that. Oh, no, no, no. Everybody I've got does one things right different. Here. Everybody's different. Now, this is not actually a cookie rack, but I use yeah, it as a it cookie works. rack. It's, um, um, I'm going to grab a saucer out of here. I'm going to walk right in front of you, Linda. Sorry about that. That is, they are certainly going to be good, and you'll, Linda, you need to take a picture of it. Of when we get them, I guess. Well, that we can do later because we're not going to eat all them. <laughs> okay, I'm using my big spatula here. See, the bottom of them's brown. Can you tell? Uh-huh, yeah. Yeah, they're brown. Now, that's what you call a syrup tea cake. Mm-hmm. Now, I hope they're going to be as good as they look. They sure do look. Did you want some milk? No, 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 no. I don't have almond milk. I can't ever no, remember to no, buy no, any because no, no, we no, wouldn't no, drink it. No, don't buy any special for me. I'm just going to break a piece off of that. Okay. Can't we do that? Yep, yeah, we can. You want to wait till it cools or are we just going to go ahead and eat no, it? No, I'm going to go ahead and eat it now. You can tell that it's soft. I don't know. I hope they're cooked enough. I hope they're Thank cooked you, enough. Jesus. It's delicious. I thank Amal Lee. I thank Amal Lee because she made a lot of syrup tea cakes. For you know, any of you who don't know, tea cakes are not super sweet. Mm -mm. No, they're not. They are, um, and you notice that this big recipe only had one cup of sugar in it, but it also had the cup of molasses in it, right. which molasses is right. sweet. Now, this might not suit everybody's taste. People that have grown up eating molasses or pure cane ribbon syrup, y'all will love this. Um, you can get this. It's usually around either... It's usually in the cereal aisle or in the baking aisle, right? Some stores, it's in different the places. Syrup? The uh, molasses. Yeah, that's funny. Um, I forgot where I bought it. I think it's, I thought I bought it around the syrup. 
Um, uh, sometimes think, it's it's in the cereal oh, aisle. Oh, okay. But but most of the time it's in the baking okay. aisle. And uh, this particular brand was uh, Grandma's, wasn't it? Grandma's molasses. But you can so. buy it in the cans. And I actually have a can that we bought at the Syrup Festival last year. Oh, you know what? I did too. No, I've never. And we got to make some biscuits we, and and fry some I ham to go that. with that one day. I got a whole pan, um, whole bucket. Of once that. in the fall, when it gets a little cooler, we we need when, to do that. When the kids are there, grandkids are next week. I may make some. Okay. I may do something with the syrup. Anyway. I would love to have the time to spend with the kids in the kitchen and and in the yard and all that, but I'm going to be very busy. You're going to be other. you're going to be extremely busy, yeah. and I feel so, so bad because you're working so hard. That's okay. I'm not working that hard, but, but it's uh, delicious. I think anybody who doesn't like something overly sweet would love. Yes, yeah, would like good with coffee yeah. or tea. And of course, you do not have to make them this size. You can make them small. Right. You can roll them out and cut them. But the thing about when you're rolling cookies out and cutting them, you're work, you're putting more flour in them. Mm -hmm. And the more flour that goes in them, and the more you work or handle cookie dough, it gets tough. tough. Gets tough it gets. So uh, if you ever heard anybody say it's a real tender biscuit or it's a real tender cookie that's because they didn't handle exactly. it very much exactly so that's one thing about baking cookies or biscuits that that is something that's very important um re-rolling dough will make it <laughs> still what <laughs> <laughs> Something just hit my mind, and I, it's not about cookies. It just remind me of the first biscuits I ever made. Oh, oh my goodness! I put an egg in it. That thing was hard as a rock. Was this right after y'all first That's got married? When we first got married, because I've never made biscuits. I made a biscuit, and oh my goodness, you couldn't you couldn't eat it, for, you couldn't even break it apart. <laughs> <laughs> Other than putting the egg in it, I don't know what I got. I made a mess. Mary oh. making something that wasn't oh. good. Oh, it was <laughs> terrible. I'm sorry I interrupted. No, you. no, I, that's I just, funny. I remember that. Yeah. Was it Bobby said you could have knocked down a, a I, fence post with yeah. them or something? I, I can't remember you, they exactly. They talked about them first biscuits. I what made. he said, but it was funny. I'm sorry. It was real mm. funny. Well, um, we will take pictures and show these smaller ones when they get out of the oven. And uh, we're really glad that y'all joined us, and we hope that you share this page with your friends. Uh, we are very excited about our two-year anniversary coming up next month. Mm -hmm. We're going to be doing some fun things all month, mm -hmm. uh, uh, having some giveaways and uh, hopefully uh, uh, revisiting. I don't know how much work it would be to get a blooper video together but that would be hilarious to get a blooper video yeah, together or yeah. something because we we didn't know what we were doing when we first uh, started this <laughs> we know a little teeny bit more now than we did when we a first started experience. but it was fun yeah it was fun. fun and you know as long as you can laugh at your mistakes uh, then you're good right well that's the whole point of being in the kitchen together is have fun so yeah anyway i hope that y'all have a Blessed day, the rest of the weekend. Yes. And um, um, look for us tomorrow. We'll be on live tomorrow. Mm -hmm. um, we don't know so, what time yet. Yeah, so you'll just have to make sure your notifications are on, the little bell, and sometimes that gets turned off, so you might want to check mm -hmm. it if you want to catch us live. Right. So uh, we hope that y'all will get in the kitchen and make some of these good syrup tea cakes, and um, we love y'all, and... Uh, I, I've been told that notifications, Facebook or something, they get turned off, and you and you didn't actually turn it off. I don't know if that's mine's truth. happen. Yeah, so it'd be a good idea to ch go check in on your phone or computer, or whatever, and make sure your notifications are on, so right. you will know when we come on tomorrow. Yeah. All right. Thank y'all so much. We love y'all. Be bye sure bye. to count your blessings. Bye bye.